many of you, if you were honest with me, do you know you have these, these choices and these areas in your life that you want to try to move towards? You know that you want to try to change. You know you want to face some of these struggles, but fear sometimes paralyzes you. Anybody in here? Yeah, man, I've learned in my journey that I have to skydive that thing. And here's what I mean. I know sometimes, as when I was growing up, I didn't trust anybody. I know I, things that happened to me. My dad abandoned me. I isolated. And I always said, if I find the perfect person that I can count on, if I find the perfect person that I can trust, then I will. But the truth is, that person's not here. People are people and they're going to let you down. I've learned I can't put my trust and my, my confidence in the people, but it's in the, it's in the process and the discipline and the action of the habit of finding the courage to punch fear in the face and take the step of beginning to trust people, which means I started talking, I started speaking. I learned to skydive that thing. And here's what I mean. There's a lot of fears and insecurities all of us have. We all have insecurities, like it, love it, or leave it. We all have things inside of us that we try to keep secure because we, we have shame or guilt or embarrassment or we care what others think. I've learned to skydive that thing. Last year, a bucket list that I've always wanted to do, I've always wanted to go skydiving. I'm an adrenaline junkie, but the problem is now, where I'm at in my life, I'm a husband and I'm a father. And I guess my wife doesn't approve of me jumping out of planes at 15,000 feet. So I thought something that I've always wanted to do, I was never going to get the opportunity to do. But I was in Oregon and I got done early and I saw a sign and it said skydive Oregon. And so I was like, yep, I called my wife. If I can get my wife to say, yeah, we're all good. I call her and I'm like, hey, honey, I got done a little bit early. I've always wanted to, you know, it's something that I've desired to do. I think I'm gonna go skydiving. Nah, I'm cool, I'm not going to. Yeah, maybe, nah, I'm just kidding, I'm all right. I don't need to do that, it's not probably smart. And she says, I don't think she meant it at all, but she says, because I don't think she wanted to control me. She says, oh no, honey, go for it, do whatever you wanna do. But yeah, if you don't wanna do it, no big deal, that's cool too. Click. Dude, I know she didn't mean it. But my eyes got so big, I said, she said yes. So 20 minutes later, I call her. I'm packed up, I got an instructor around me, I'm at Skydive Oregon, and I call her, her eyes get so big, I hung up, she ain't saying no. I'm all in. But as I start going through the process of skydiving, as the instructor shows up, and as he starts walking me through this process, my anxiety started getting higher. Like he started coming to me and saying, listen, here's your pack, here's your shoe, here's how you're gonna fall. He put me on this counter. He said, this is my eighth, my ninth jump today. I said, what bro, nine times? Do you pack your shoe? He said, every time. I said, so you packed your shoe nine times today? Are we gonna test the odds? Are we good, we're cool on one more? Did you, did you get tired? Did you miss a fold? He said, no, nah, bro, it's cool. He showed me how he did it. Dude, my anxiety, it's getting higher. This little ratchety plane lands. Ratchety. He said, all right, bro, let's get in, whoa! He's from Oregon, so he's already kind of weird in the hippie. As we get into the plane, we start ascending. He slides in behind me. My anxiety is on 10. Just like some of you, when you want, you know you need to trust, you know that you, you want these areas in your life that you're insecure and you get to the edge and fear paralyzes you and anxiety gets higher. Dude, I was right there. I've always wanted to do this, but through the process, I was so uncomfortable. As we get to 13,000 feet, he said, listen, bro, we got six connectors. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect this. I'm gonna hit all six, three times, do this. Woo, you're gonna do it. You know, I know, we're secure. Skydive Oregon. I'm like, huh. 13K, he pulls the door up. He says, listen, the free fall's only gonna be about 30 to 40 seconds. I want you to experience this moment. So we're gonna scoot to the door. We got 2,000 more feet of climbing. And as we scoot to the door, and as we begin to get to that place, I want you, I want you just to lean out, out of the plane. I'm holding on. And I'm like, no! He said, okay, now we're there. Here's the next piece that I want you to do. I want you to take the bottom of your feet and touch the bottom of the plane and hang there. I got you. And I'm like, no! Dude, I was terrified. 
in that plane, which was the safest place that I could have been, I have never felt more anxiety and fear in my life, even though I've always wanted to do it. But soon as I trusted the process, and soon as I trusted the community of those entrusted to help me learn to skydive, as soon as he got to that place at 15K and he said go, and I took that step, and we skydived that thing. All the anxiety, all the fear, it evaporated. As I free fell and I saw Mount Hood and Mount Rainier and Mount St. Helens, I've never felt more on top of the world. There's a lot of you in here that you struggle with trust. Fear has paralyzed you. You know there's areas in your life that you want to change, you need to change, but man, you get to the very precipice at that door and you run back because it is uncomfortable and I need you to know change is uncomfortable. I've learned to skydive that thing.